Doing research is often a time-consuming and tedious process, so we at the library keep looking for ways that we can make the process a little less so. One of the more frustrating things when searching within our library catalog used to be that every time you changed a search term and redid a search, all of the filters and limiters you were using got reset as well. Well, this is no longer the case. You can now lock any limiter or filter that you are using in one search to be used in the entire searching session. So let's take a look at how to keep those filters across multiple searches. Begin by signing into the library catalog, always a good idea for accessing resources. Then, type in some keywords, for instance, electric vehicle, into the general library search box and press enter or the search button. Start by limiting the results to the past 10 years by typing 2009 into the date limiter under the Refine My Results header and selecting the Refine button. Then, under the header Availability, select the peer-reviewed journals filter. And since we are only looking for peer-reviewed articles, let's also eliminate reviews from the search. Do so by selecting the red crossed-out check mark across from the limiter that says Exclude This Reviews. Peer-reviewed journals contain reviews as well as articles, but these reviews do not count as peer-reviewed articles. Now let's scroll through the results. Are they exactly on the topic we are looking for, or do we need to change or add to our keywords? Let's say that we are really interested in the environmental impact of electric vehicles. We haven't found a lot of those yet, so let's add a keyword. Now comes the fun part, don't search just yet. Hover over the filter for peer-reviewed journals under the header Active Filters. There is a lock that appears on the left of the filter and says make this filter persistent throughout this session. Select this lock to keep the filter when you change the search terms. Now lock all the filters. Let's add environmental to our keyword search. And then run the search by either pressing enter or selecting the search button. The filters stayed with us as we changed our search terms. Awesome! This doesn't only apply if you are just changing one word, but also if you are completely changing your topic. And it's quite flexible. Today, after the search on electric cars and the environment, you have another project you want to get started on. This project requires peer-reviewed articles, but the time frame for these articles isn't clear yet, so before typing in the new keywords, just get rid of the date limiter altogether by hovering over the lock icon on the limiter and remove the persistent filter, or eliminate the filter altogether. Now type in some keywords, like water conservation for the new search topic, and press enter. Both the peer-reviewed journals filter and the exclude reviews filter have remained persistent across the search, while the date limiter has been removed. Another cool feature is that if you do a new search in a new tab, these persistent filters will also be in the new tab. And this is cascading. So whatever the filters are in the previous tab will appear for a search in the new tab. This way you can have multiple searches in different tabs and keep some or all of the limiters the same. Locking filters and limiters can help you efficiently search for resources by eliminating the need to refilter every time you search. If you have any questions, please ask a librarian for help.